Hi, I'm Dami from e Learning Channel Museum. Today, we're going to talk about piano pedals. If you see below the piano, you will find pedal like this. I have three. Some of you may have only two or even only one. But don't worry about it. It really doesn't matter how many pedals you have. From now, I'm going to explain what the difference is and how to use them correctly. Now, before we use the pedal, I'm going to show you a little bit inside of the piano. As you can see here, there are many types of strings, different thicknesses, some are really thick and some are thin, and also different lengths of the strings, and also different numbers of the strings per note. Now, if you see the far left side, the bass string have only one string per note. Here, as you see it, really thick. And then after that, it doubles. Do you see two per notes? And later on, three per notes. If you see it, one, two, three strings. One, two, three strings. And also, we call this one damper. Dampers is to stop the strings from vibrating. So if I play piano, do you see the damper comes up? And as soon as I leave my hand, the damper comes down and stop the vibration of the sound. But if I play it, as long as I hold it, the sound's vibrating. And if I leave, the sound stop. So damper actually stop the vibration. I don't know if you noticed it, some of the notes don't have even dampers here. You see the high notes. And most of them has damper, but some are not. Some extremely short and thin strings don't have dampers because of they do not make as much sound as the longer strings. These dampers can also be lifted by the pedals too. So if I push down, do you see? If I push down, the right side pedal, it lifts up the damper. And if I release, the damper goes down. That's why we call this pedal damper pedal or sustained pedal. Because the pedal is lifting up the dampers and it allows the strings to sustain the sound openly. If you have only one pedal, then it should be this one. And if you have two pedals, then the right side pedal is this one. Now let's compare what's gonna make the different sound if I use pedal. If I play the note without a pedal, the sound is very short and only sustained while I'm pressing down the keys. See? I explained it, right? However, if I play the notes with the pedals, the sound will be free and deep and shimmer. Now, I'm going to move far left pedal. If you have two pedals, then your left pedal should be this one. Do you see? The far left side of the pedal. As you can see, if I press down the left side pedal, my entire piano key is shifting to the right. Do you see how it moves? Maybe it's hard to recognize, but if you see it, yes, it's moving whole entire keyboard to the right. What happened is all the hammers on the piano shifted to the right and hit only two strings instead of three. I explained it, right? Some of the note has a three strings. Of course, some has a two and thick one. However, if I pushed left side pedal, then whole entire hammer shifted down and it's gonna hit it only two strings instead of three. If there is only one strings or two strings, then only a part of the string will be played instead of whole entire string. This left side pedal not only makes the sound soft, but also changes the color of the sound. A little bit smooth and mute sound. If you have a bright piano, this pedal moves the hammer closer to the strings and makes it sound 
softer. That's why we call this pedal soft pedal or una corda. Now, the middle pedal is the only one used for very advanced or certain piece, like a contemporary song. Even if you don't have this pedal, don't worry about it. We almost never use this pedal. Some people never use this one in their life, so it should be fine. This pedal is a special pedal. Now, if I press down the middle pedal, if you see it in the piano keys, nothing changed. As you see, if I press down the right side pedal, it lifts up the dampers and opens the strings. If I press down the left side pedal, it moves the keys and hammers to the right. But the middle pedal doesn't show any differences. However, you press down the pedal and play a note, it's going to lock one note of the hammer. Do you see it? Even if I release the hand, it just keep holding it. Only one note, not entire damper, but only one note. And leave it the last of the note, just as it is. Do you see, I can do even staccato. And one note is still locked. That's what this pedal is for. We call sustain the pedal because it's gonna sustain only one note or only the note that I play. It can be two, two or three, but I press down the pedal, play the note, and locking up and play the note. Do you hear it? Nothing affects to the, the sound, but the first one that I played. Now you know all these three different pedals and how they work. I'm going to give you an important tips and techniques for the pedal. First of all, when you use the damper pedal, which is the far right one, we use it with your right foot, not with your left foot, but with your right foot. When you use the soft pedal, which is far left side one, you use it with your left foot. So this is left side. When we use both right and left pedals at the same time, then you use right and left. But the middle pedal is the only one by itself, not with other pedals together. So when you use middle pedal, maybe you will use with your right foot. Second, when you press down the pedal, you have to put down your heel. Some people press the pedal down like this. It shouldn't be. This is not the right way to make steady and smooth sound. You should put your heels down on the ground and also press the pedal like this. Otherwise, if you do like this, you will strain your muscles here. Third. When you press the pedal down, you have to press with the ball of your foot. So this side, I don't know if you can see it or not, or even in a picture. Yes, not with your toes like this, otherwise it will, you know, sleep, nor middle of your sole, not too much. Some people play with this side, so go in and play it like this, but that's too much. So you have to play with your ball of your foot. Fourth, when you press the pedal down, you have to press down and up smoothly. Do you hear the sound? If you press hard, you will hear open string sound and closing. So you have to press smooth and lift it up. But still, it has to be quick, but smooth. Do you see it? Not like this, nor not slowly, but it has to be quick, but smooth. And the last and least known technique for the pedal. When you press the pedal down, don't press at the same time as you play the note. Some people drop 
their hands and foot at the same time. Then it's gonna make it a little bit messy pedal. You have to press the pedal right before or a little bit right after you play. So play and push down. This time, we're going to play three pedal exercises. We're going to use pedal in the actual song. Now, if you look at the score, you will find P-E-D. It's really hard to tell P-E-D, but this is P-E-D letter. And written, and with the lines on it, and then with little signs like this. Yes, this is pedal sign. So most of the time, if you see P-E-D means pedal and when they say pedal means mostly the damper pedal not the left side one nor the middle one but the right damper pedal now if you see the PED you start push down until you see the mark looks like this it's either that or the other this mark means you change the pedal so lift it up and push down again normally this pedal sign used in the middle of the song so it means whenever you see that one you just lift it up the pedal and then push it down or it will be like this means end of the pedal so you just lift it up you don't push down again but just lift it up got it now let's see on the piano the first one starts with your left hand most of the time, pedal goes along with your left hand chord. Of course, it can go with your right hand, but many times it goes along with your left hand chords. So now let's see. Left hand chord to start with C and skip, skip up. So C major chord. Do you see it? One, two, three, four half step and one, two, three half step. So this is the C major chord and stepping up. First, to try it without a pedal. Step up, 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 and you come down, down, step up, and step up, down, down, step up, up. progression. What you need to do is just find hand position and look at it as a graph stepping up and down. Then if you have to step up, you just literally shift it up and play it down. Do you remember? I said in a technique, you have to move it as a unit. Just lift it up your hand and push it down because the distance of the key is exactly the same. So you don't have to look for the note, but instead you have to just lift it up and shift it down. Now, this is easy. The problem part is when you add left hand with your foot pedal, how it's gonna work. Let's see. Now, if you see PED, you can start from pushing it down. If it's very beginning of the song, just start pushing it down and you can play it. That's fine. Or you can just start playing and push down later. But you have to remember, if you want to push it down after that, hold it down and push the pedal. Don't drop it at the same time. Do you remember I said in previous? You have to hold it down the pedal a little bit before the notes or a little bit after the notes, not at the same time. So this time, since it's very beginning, just push down, open the string, and ready, play it. And the next note, you have to keep holding. Don't lift. Shift it down. 
play it and lift it up. Do you see? This is really important. Most of the time, people are playing lift it up, same time as your foot and hands, and drop at the same time. Then what's gonna happen? Ah, 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 ah. Your sounds are disconnecting it. We are using pedal to connect the sound smoothly. If you play it exactly the same time as your hand motion, then it will disconnect the sound. So you must remember. Now I will go again. Open the string. Ready? One, two, three, go. Play, two, and move it up. Play and shift it up. Move it up, play and shift. Play and change. Do you see? A little bit behind. Not too late, but not too fast. The key is when you lift your hand, do you see my foot? It's still holding on to the pedal. And yes, oh, I went too far. But anyway, you have to remember to hold it down. Don't lift at, at the same time as your hand and foot. Now, let's go back again. One, two, one, two. 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 And shift it down. One, two. And you have to leave it at the same time or a little bit later. But when you change it, you have to change before or a little bit after the playing. Got it? Now let's see the exercise two. Exactly the same thing, but we will play it in both hands together. So it's about the same. Ready? One. Two, one, two, one, two, and lift it up and play it and shift it. Play and change, two. Play and change, two. And do you see I lift it up and move it on to the next note, but my foot is still hanging there. You have to push it down. One, two, Shift it down, one, two, shift it down, one, two, shift it up, one, two, shift it up, one, two, shift it down, one, two, shift it down, one, two, shift it up, one, two, shift it up, one, two, shift it down. and lift it at the same time. Don't leave too soon the pedal. You can leave hands anytime, but the pedal, you have to leave slow. Do you see? Not. Then it will cut it up. So you have to hold it up smooth. Up. But then rather than up. Do you see it? That's what's going to happen if you cut it too soon. Best. So smoothly leave it up. Got it? Now the next song is kind of tricky. Problem is your changing pedal time is really short. So you have to change the pedal as soon as possible. 
Now let's see. The note is left hand is exactly the same as the previous one. But the problem is your right hand. Your right hand plays the same chord, but instead of blocking off, this time you break it up and move it up. So without a pedal, it's really easy so. then it's really confusing. Let's see how it goes. Ready? Time signature is 3-4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And lift it up, hold it, play and shift. Do you see it? I changed. And hold it, play and change. confusing right I know you have tendency to leave your foot and hands at the same time but you have to hold it up otherwise sometimes people are leaving at the same time or even forget to change the pedal and you can just keep holding it hold through the entire song you have to remember you have to keep change but it has to be fast but still smooth got it so it's going to take some time to work on and get used to change the pedal. So practice every day this exercise. And if you still have trouble, then let me know. I will check and see what's the problem. And we'll tell you the tips for the pedal technique. Got it? I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And we will see you next time. Bye!